car. Borrowed your fiance's car. That's All right. right. So you're not opposed to driving. You just don't normally drive. I'm not philosophically opposed to driving. I just uh, um, buying a car is expensive. Yes. So, uh, I yes. haven't done it yet. Uh, we need to talk to you about getting a raise, or you need to go see Johnny <laughs> Londoff Chevrolet. Um, there's a new funding mechanisms, or a number of them, that's working their way through Jefferson City. You're a guru when it comes to transportation fundings. Tell us what they are and what do you think about them? Well, there's a, there's a number of things, like you said, that are happening. Uh, the one that's moved quickest is a fuel tax increase. 1.5 cents for regular, 3.5 cents for diesel. Right. That's going to raise tens of millions for MoDOT, and it would raise millions more for local and state or local and city um, city governments for them to spend on basically streets roads and this is all just basically what's been going on with the funding crisis for the last couple of years in MoDOT this is the latest thing um, but you don't mind this this I don't mind as much as when you had things like amendment 7 coming out a couple of years ago which would have raised hundreds of millions of dollars a lot of that would have been peeled off for pet projects one of the nice things about fuel taxes is in the Missouri Constitution, you cannot spend fuel taxes either at the state level or the local level on anything but roads and highways. It can't be peeled off to play, pay for a stadium right. or for a streetcar or for anything. So it would actually go, it would actually for sure all go to fixing the problem that they have, which is funding the state highway system. Right. Uh, do, do we like do you wish it was bigger? One point three and three. I mean, do we want more? I would, I would actually say that, this, that they shouldn't go higher than this on the fuel tax. And I say that because, you know, if they did go higher, I mean, first of all, higher taxes is bad. It's bad for everybody to have to pay for, more, for gas for, for basically driving. But, you know, when, when we're looking at long-term solutions, this really is not one of them because cars are getting more fuel efficient. And... Basically, they're not in as much of a funding crisis as they claimed in the last couple of years. So I think a modest fuel tax increase is fine. And then you look towards solving your long-term problems, like how do you rebuild I-70? How do you make sure that the state highway system is spending less? And I think there are good solutions to that, like reducing the size of the state highway system and also introducing tolling on major projects. All right. That's uh, Joe Miller. Let's talk about this. It's kind of convoluted. Kroenke came out and wants a development in a floodplain in Maryland Heights. Then the next day or two, St. Louis County came out and said, we want to build 14 different soccer stadium or soccer fields in the Maryland Heights area. And then comes an idea of an MLS soccer stadium. So it's all kind of convoluted. But let's start with the soccer fields and St. Louis County. What are your thoughts on that? It looks like they're going to get some TIF financing for that. Well, they're going to get not just TIF financing. They are just going to get that thing paid for through hotel motel taxes, our favorite type of tax in St. Louis City and County. Well, what's, that's great. I don't, I don't stay here. I own a home, so let's tax somebody else. Well, I mean, this is probably the biggest shell game you've ever seen. Whenever they, come, they talk about hotel motel tax, and I think I've heard it brought up in like four or five different contexts now over the last couple of years, there's not enough money to do what they say the hotel motel tax is doing. Not in the city, not in the county. And they're just throwing around dollar signs like, oh, don't worry, it's being covered by people out of state. Yeah, but it was only $14 million. Well, here's the thing. Right now, and this, this is where it all becomes, becomes kind of convoluted, but right now you've got the Edward Jones Dome. And you've got the convention center. And those are both, quote unquote, funded with hotel motel tax. Now, right. they're not because... They actually, the hotel motel tax is actually bringing less revenue than those two things cost. But at the county level, there are two taxes, two hotel motel taxes. One goes to fund the Edward Jones Dome. The other just goes to the CVC, which funds the convention center and a few other things. The problem is that you've got county officials basically saying, don't worry, we're basically peeling off some of that money that we were sending to the CVC and they're going to the convention center and they're going to come back and they're going to spend it on the soccer field yeah, instead. Great idea. Problem. They were already spending all of that money. <laughs> uh, you know, so there's two of those taxes. One of them just goes to pay off the dome. And of course, they're spending that to pay off the dome. That goes till 2022. The other one goes to the convention center, which if, if you haven't heard, the convention center wants $100 million in upgrades and is having a hard time maintaining the Edward Jones Dome. So it's not like they're just flush and like can just spin off some money to go pay for, pay for um, soccer fields out in St. Louis County. So the actual 
what people are suspecting, and I believe this, I mean, like, I'm, I can't be sure, but this is, this is what I think is true. They are, this is basically part of, a, of, of an idea of extending those bonds. Because, you know, in 2022, that hotel motel tax is right. supposed to retire, quote unquote. We've been talking about this for, for, for months now, but, you know, when it retires... Well, it, it will retire the bonds, but the tax still stays. The tax is supposed to retire, too, because the only thing that that... So there's, there's two taxes basically of equivalent size for the hotel motel tax in the county. Right. And the half of it is supposed to just pay off the dome and then poof disappear but i don't think it's going to disappear and i think like you know but the idea when it was originally passed did it say once the bonds are paid off it goes away or was that just sort of implied i think it was implied right and this is the problem that now the if the county were just going to follow what people people would presume they would do this right. would just disappear and then you just have a lower hotel motel tax right. but now it's like well you know we're getting some money some small amount of money for st louis county so how are you going to get that unless you start right. extending your bonds? Uh, they also say that $14 million is a ridiculously low number. And they, the, the thought process is, is that we'll just throw out a number. We'll, we'll get halfway through it. We'll need more. And then we'll go and ask for it after we're almost pregnant with these fields. <laughs> yeah, that's a kind of modus operandi in the county. Uh, you know, just a couple, just not, I think two months ago, it broke that the um, the loop trolley, right. which was not going to, which supposedly was never going to take any tax money from St. Louis County, suddenly was $8 million short and needed that money from St. Louis <laughs> County. And of course they got it because the, the rails were suspiciously already in the ground and you can't go back then. So yeah, soccer fields are going to get halfway dug up. You're going to clear out Creve Court Park. And then basically, what are they going to say? They're going to be like, we're just going to leave it like a vacant field? I don't think so. Or we're just going to leave it like a vacant air, uh, airport yeah. where no yeah. one uses it? What are you going to do? You yeah. have to open up the airport. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joe Miller, uh, you've got some uh, papers on this? Uh, yes, uh, we are releasing a paper on transportation that uh, should be coming out this week. And you can check that on showmeinstitute.org. And we've also been writing on the convention center and all this business with the hotel motel tax. And you can also see that at our blog at showmeinstitute.org. Joe Miller, thanks for, for coming in. Is it time for final, some, finally some type of TIF reform? Our next guest says now is the time. We'll talk to him coming up in just a moment. St. Louis Closet Company, Traffic Center next.